Hey guys, I am back. I am back to do another review. Another review from my childhood. We've already, well, my childhood schools, I should say. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing, you know, obviously every school. Um, but, um, but yes, I'm, I'm wanting to talk about Lawson now. I've talked about Special Learning Center last month. Now I want to share with you guys um, my experience with, uh, with Lawson and see how well it, it held up. This is again for people who want to know more about my childhood. It's it's like it's like reviewing, you know, me reviewing stores and all that. You know, I'm I'm doing stuff for you guys and all that. So, for people who are who are tuning into this video, remember to just subscribe to my channel. I am aiming for 1k subs. 1k subs. Also, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Twitter, which is now not called, I don't know if it's called X or Twitter, because I, I'm just going to call it Twitter, I mean, it's, it's technically known as X now, but I'm on Twitter too, and I'm also, I also have a DaVinci art too, so yeah, you guys can follow me on that, and, um, and all that stuff, but, um, anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this, let's talk about Lawson. So this is actually the, fir the first uh, grade of grade school, which is kindergarten. I'm not sure why it's not called first grade. I'm not sure why it's called not first grade, you know, and there's, there's technically six grades in uh, elementary school. Now Lawson, I was only in for one school year. I was there for one school year, that's it. And surprisingly, for being only there for one year, I actually have quite a bit of memories with this school. I do. Obviously, I don't remember everything, you know. Uh, I don't, I, I mean, there's like a, like maybe a 1% of a, a chance of someone remembering pretty much everything from their childhood. I do have a pretty good memory, but, uh, but yeah, but, but technically, this is from when I was, um, you know, in loss and, and all that. So, um, but I do have a lot of memories from this school. So, I kind of want to share the good and bad. So, I think I want to start out, I want to start out with the good first. Because, you know, it's always nice to start out with the good, you know, and, and work my way there. I mean, sometimes, occasionally, I'll start out with the bad. But, uh, I want to start out with the good first. So, the things I liked about this school was, uh, we actually, uh, did this thing where we, we, we uh, did a letter thing. We actually cut out letters and all that, and, uh, but we cut, we cut out letters and all that, and, um, which I unfortunately don't have access to anymore. I wish I did. My cousin Taylor, when, when she was cleaning the house up when I was little, she threw them out. She, she, she said she was going to replace them. She never did. And I, and I asked her, like, like a couple years after that, that, and she says, I'm too old for that. And so it's basically she lied to me is what she did. Um, she kind of lied to me there, and I don't really like that. She's actually a teacher herself at elementary school, but the fact that she said she was going to replace them and never did, that actually makes me mad. Uh, but but it's, it's not like it's the worst thing, you know, that, like, I mean, I've been lied to before, and that's not the worst thing, but, you know, but the fact she, she was going to replace them, that really frustrates me, you know, because even though I am, I'm an adult, I still would like to have access to that stuff, and the fact she threw it out, and all that makes me mad. But yeah, we, we, did, we did the entire letters of the alphabet. My teacher also, her name was Miss Dunking, she also, uh, did this thing at school called, with red check marks. Like, you get, like, three of them and all that, and, uh... And I don't, I don't remember exa- I don't remember exactly- I don't remember exactly what they all wore. Like, I can't remember. Uh, I know one of them was, like, I think it was the second check mark. You could not, like, uh, go out for, to recess and all that, and, uh... And all that stuff, um... Which I'm gonna get to that in a second, uh... 
But I will say that we also did a thing where we hatched chicks and all that. Yeah, we hatched baby chicks and and all that. That was kind of fun, you know. We we had we hatched baby chicks. I also did that later in high school, but uh, you know, this was like elementary school and all that. I don't have any pictures of it because back back then I didn't have. Well, back then I didn't have access to, to a, a, a camera, so, uh, because, you know, the DSi wasn't out yet, you know, um, I thought it actually came out in 2007, uh, but it didn't, it didn't come out until later, but, but, yeah, I didn't have access to a DSi, so I, I, I couldn't, you know, do anything about that, but, um, we did do stuff like that. Also, we got, we got, we actually went home early. We all, we went home early and, uh, but we went home actually early. Well, kindergartners went home earlier. They went home a couple hours earlier than other students in the school. Because, but when I went home, I also had to take naps and all that. Because I had a babysitter. Her name was Sarah. I had to take naps. I didn't like, I didn't like being forced to take naps, you know, I'm like, I kind of rather just take naps if I want to, you know, I didn't like being forced to, especially later down the road, my siblings don't have to do that, nope, they don't have to do that, they actually treat, they treat them differently, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if they would admit their, mis my family would admit their mistakes and apologize, but they didn't do that, they didn't admit their mistakes or apologize, so I'm like, I feel kind of betrayed there about that, but, um, yeah, I had to go home. I had to do that, and um, but I, ha I had to like uh, you know, unfortunately, take naps and all. I had to take naps until I think I was like seven years old, and it was kind of annoying. See, see, back back then I had a lot of energy. Now it feels like I don't have as much energy as I used to. And I, I want to clarify, I'm still young. I should still have plenty of energy. I'm actually, I'm actually trying to figure out what's going on because when I'm outside, I got lots of energy, but inside I don't. So I'm working on figuring that out. But um, but yes, um, but yeah, right. I, I, I currently now I don't have a lot of energy. I feel tired a lot. It's kind of strange and it all. I just feel tired. But um, but yes, I um. But yes, I feel kind of tired. Also, if you guys hear my dog, sorry, he's a. Uh, I decided to let him go lay down on the bed, you know, see how he does. So, so he can lay on my bed, on, on my dad's bed, and see how he does. Uh, so I don't know, but um, but yeah, he, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to trying to get him to lay on the bed so he's not, you know, so I can train him not to go in the cage as much, you know. But but um, yeah, but. Anywho, though, uh, yeah, there, there was quite a bit of stuff that happened in Special Learning Center, though, and I said it was good and bad. I also had OT and speech and all that. I don't remember who my speech teacher was. I remember my, my OT teacher was, her name was Mrs. Cook. Her name was Mrs. Cook. Or actually, I think she was called Miss Cook, not Mrs. Cook. Miss Cook. But I think she was, I think she's married, though. I don't know if she's always been married, but... I know her name was Mrs. Cook. I mean, I call her, call her Miss Cook is actually a lot, sounds a lot better than calling her Mrs. Cook. I don't know why, it just sounds a bit better, but. I also had, that, I also, this was the first school I actually had an aide to. Her name was Miss Anderson. But Miss Anderson was her name. I don't remember her last name, but I called her Miss Anderson. Funny enough, later down the road, she become a teacher at Callaway Hills. She became like, well, we'll get we'll get to that school eventually, cause boy, there's a lot of crap to talk about with that school. But she was like a, I think she's a first grade or kindergarten teacher at that school. But I don't know. But yeah, I have a lot of crap to talk about with that school. But um, but yeah, speaking of crap. I think I've kind of talked a lot, a lot about the good stuff about the school. Now I need to talk about some of the bad stuff. Some of the bad stuff. And a lot of this has not really involved the school. It's just incidents that have happened outside the school. Now, the, the biggest thing with this school was I, I... You see, I have autism and bipolar and all that. So I had lots of mood swings and all that when I lost at games and stuff. 
So um, I lost at games, and uh, but I, I lost I lost at games and all that, and um, and I had like map meltdowns. That's, always, that's what happened in Special Learning Center too. The problem is this is I mean I would occasionally get in trouble for it, but it started really affecting me in the school, especially with the check marks. Like I, I, a lot of times I I tried to explain to people that I could not control it. Like I don't know what what was going on, and like I tried to tell people, but they wouldn't listen to me, and it made me mad, you know, because I'm like I'm trying to explain something, but people just people didn't listen to me. Even now I'm having problems where like people don't listen to me sometimes, and I mean I'm not trying to be make it sound like I'm being a, a bit of a a control freak or something, but I'm not gonna lie, this is I'll, a lot of things coming down the road or from like me reviewing the schools or a lot of the crap is, is caused because not my, 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 but my actions, but because of other people's. Not saying all of them are, you know, because I mean, I've done some my fair share of problems too. I mean, I, I mean, I faked getting sick in special learning center and all that. And I, um, and then, I mean, I, I have, um, you know, and it's at home, I did some stuff, you know, with my cat, Julius and all that. It's actually named after my, my, my Orange Julius. I actually completely forgot about that restaurant until, or that like, movie. It's like a restaurant, smoothie shop until later. I completely forgot it even existed. It faded from my mind. Which is kind of funny because a couple years ago I was thinking about it and just, I don't know, just kind of weird. But it's probably because I have had a lot going on the last couple years. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but... I did do some stuff to him. See, I was a very tall kid. I don't know why I was just so tall. Probably because I was born. I was born about on the day I was supposed to be born. So I was basically born on pretty much the day, the exact day I was supposed to be born on. So I was like super tall. I was super tall for my age and uh, and and all that. And I basically, basically, I just um. But because I was super tall and all that, I could not fit on my bed very well. So my cat, I had to push my cat down a lot. And I was trying to scare him off because he, well, shoo him off. I wasn't really trying to, trying to shoo him off. And then I just kind of, I started tormenting him, which, I mean, to be fair, again, I was trying to, you know, get, shoo him off. But, I mean, poke poking him with a broomstick and all that, that, that's, that's not good. That's a bad thing to do. Do not do that to your animals. That's, that's animal abuse. I should have not done that. I, I eventually learned my lesson from it, but I, I even feel, I still to this day, I feel bad for what I did to Julius, but I did other stuff too, but like I, I wandered off a few times and all that. So around that time, you know, so I, I've done some fair share of problems, but, um, I mean, I've done some fair share of things, but. But yes, um, but the thing is at school though, I had a lot of outbursts, even at home sometimes I had outbursts too and all that, so. So yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's gotten a lot better now that I've gotten older, but I still do have problems with it sometimes, and it's annoying. And on top of that, I don't feel like I have a lot of energy like I used to. Again, I'm doing some, I'm trying to do some research, because I don't think I have health problems, thank goodness, because I... I've, I've noticed this that like I'm noticing it it's not doing it everywhere and if I had health problems I'd be having this problem even out in the community so I think it's because the house is very dark now they they, they, they remodeled the house and I keep telling my family that it's 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 messing with my my health and all that and they don't want to listen so um yeah that's kind of a problem there but um but, yeah, I don't know, but, um, but, yeah, speaking at home, I, I did it, a lot of times I did go home and get spankings for my, my, my stepdad and all that. My dad never really spanked me too much. He grounded me, but he wouldn't spank me. Except that time I ripped a, the ceiling fan. I'm looking at the ceiling fan right now. I'm talking about it in the living room. I, I ripped it out with my, I had a horrible curiosity of, throwing a book, like, seeing what would happen, and my, and my curiosity got the best of me, so, um, yeah, I got my, I got my, my bottom whooped, yep, I got my bottom whooped, and, um, and, yeah, so, basically, yeah, I, 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 I said, I've done my fair share of problems, but 
most of the time I've got my, my, my butt whooped. It, it's not really my fault. I just, I, like I said, I had issues. I had like, I, I said I have autism and, all, and I felt like I was being punished for it and it's not my fault. Even now, I still feel like that to this day. I still struggle with some of the stuff. I won't go into too much details, but it's even messing with me now, it feels like. But, um, I don't know. But, but yeah, basically that was a big problem in school and all that. So I, 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 I couldn't do recess. I, sometimes I couldn't have recess. I, I got home and got spankings. I did for hitting and kicking people. And I didn't mean to, um... And I mean, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just like, you know, I, I'm like, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying when I got in trouble for that stuff, and, I don't know, I'm just, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say that too, I don't know what people, what, pe what people are talking about wanting spankings and all that, like, like, you know, like, you know, as adults and all that from, you know, their lovers, I don't know, I, 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 I feel like it'd just be painful having spankings, you know, but, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's kind of a weird thing, you know. I mean, I, I can't say much because I don't really, I mean, I don't, it's kind of getting a little bit off topic, but, but yeah, I did not like spankings because they hurt me when I was little, and I wouldn't want a spanking as an adult, you know, if you, if you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, I don't know, but, but yeah, enough about that, though. Um, another problem we had was the ice storm. See, we had, we had an ice storm, oh, it was like, it was really bad, like, I actually was getting ready to watch the video on YouTube, but I'm like, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll save it for, I, I watched a, a little, a few seconds of it, but I didn't watch a lot of it, because I wanted to do a reaction with you guys, because I'd spent so many years, I wanted to do a reaction video on, on that, on that video, and, and, um, yeah, it, it, it was a really bad eye story. It was really bad. Like, I, I don't remember, like, like, exactly what happened, but I know it was really bad. It destroyed a lot of the trees in the woods that we have. A lot of trees were all blown over. I mean, I mean, were knocked over. A lot of them were crooked. But most of the trees that are crooked now, they, they're, they, they, they've died. Um, they got, well, they got cut down and died. Well, so, some of them died probably because because the because they weren't they weren't growing right because the ice probably messed up the trees, but some of them just died because they had diseases or something like or or a fungus or something. Because I think I've, I had that problem in my yard. A lot of my maples have had like I couldn't figure out what was exactly going on, but some people are telling me that it could be a fungus. I didn't see any funguses in it, but that doesn't mean anything, you know, but, but, um, but yeah, I, I just know they all, all of them died, including the, the, there was one that was crooked. I actually got quite a bit of videos of it. I even got a video of it, it of it getting ripped out of the ground because, uh, because, because when my dad cut it down, it was still alive. So it got, it got ripped out of the ground. Um, I don't know if I, I, I think I'm missing some videos of it. Because, uh, you know, I deleted some videos without thinking about it, trying to get more room on my DS. Because back then I was in Hannibal and all that. I was dealing with memory loss and all that. So it was pretty bad there. So, But, um, yeah, the thing is, though, that tree was, like, crooked. It was, like, leaning and all that. And it, I, I think it finally died and... But um, yeah, surprisingly too, it was like it was like the la the last one in, in the in the bushes area to, to survive too. All the other ones died. I'm sure all the bushes growing by didn't help it. They probably overcrowded it and probably killed all the trees in there. But a lot of it too, they all died kind of the same way with a fungus or something. I think it's a fungus. I don't want to say it is or not, but some something definitely killed them because I. Uh, I, my first video on YouTube, I had that problem where one of my trees, um, it was like one of the last ones, that I, I was trying to save it. Every year it would come back and its leaves would curl up and b go brown. And I kept, I kept using, I was using plant fertilizer. I knew it wasn't going to keep, I kept, couldn't keep doing it, but um, because I had to, I would have to keep buying more plant fertilizer, but I didn't know it was going to kill the tree. I didn't know the tree was going to eventually die, like, like, the, as, it, like it did. 
But um, yeah, it ended up dying and um, it's still standing out there to this day, just dead, it's just dead, but I don't know, but but I, I think I'm kind of going a little bit off topic, but I do know we were, we think we were, we were out of school for about a week or two. Um, all, all the fish, all the piranha fish at my dad's house died. Yeah, my dad had some piranhas. The baby ones survived, but the, the, the other ones, the, the, the adult ones died. They all died. But yeah, they, they died and, um, and because the power was out, so they couldn't, they couldn't survive and, it it was really bad. I actually went, I actually went with with my mother and Andy and all that went with them to like like we tell like I don't I don't remember where oh, I think it was Monroe City or something I don't remember where we went I can't remember um and he like built a snowman or something I could never build a snowman I tried so hard I I just can't build it I don't know how like every time I try to like make some snow um it cr crumbles up. And lately, we have not had enough snow really to do that. I mean, we had a lot of snow, but not not really en enough to really make a snowman. But but um but yeah, I don't know. But um the thing is though, because because we were because we were out, out of because we were out of school and all that um for like we had we we had like school until the end of May because I was I was curious like how that was gonna work because. That was my first the first school year where I wasn't gonna have um when we were supposed to have summer school and all that. So I was curious how that was gonna work because we were out of school for so long. But we were out of school for so long and all that that they um but we 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 got out like at the very end of May is when we got out. But I, I had to go to summer school though. I didn't want to go to summer school, but. But my, but my, um, but my, my, my mother and Andy and all that wanted me to go to summer school, I guess, to make, to so, I don't know, I don't know why they, to socialize or something, I don't know. I think it was just because they wanted me out of their hair or something, I don't know. Um, it's kind of like parents, like, making your kids, kids go to camp to have fun. They're mainly doing it because they want you to get, they want it out of your hair, you know, um, and sometimes it can be just because they want you to socialize, but. A lot of times it's because of that, and um, but I I didn't want to go to summer school. I wanted to spend my freaking summer at home and all that, and I couldn't do that, and uh, it really frustrated me because that was my first first year where I actually had a summer school. I mean, I had to, I had a whole summer myself, and I had to like I mean I got July off and all that, but I had to go to school in June and all that, and that frustrated me. And they and they keep they keep saying you don't have to do a whole lot of work in in summer school, but I I've been to multiple elementary schools and all that, and every single one of them has has said that. And I and look look at you, I I'm freaking stuck doing freaking work. I'm doing work, so I mean I don't really get, get that whole thing and all that. I don't get that, and um, it's just kind of I don't get that, but. This kind of hap has been a trend forever and all that. But by, by the time I got to middle school and all that, I didn't go to summer school at all. I kind of just, I stayed at home. I, I stayed at home and all that, but, 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 but back, back then I went to like summer school and all that. And, um, and yeah, they basically make you do this work and all that. So they're basically doing work and I'm like, I want to go, I want to have fun. I want to catch fireflies. I want to listen to the, the cicada bugs. Well, I guess I can still do that stuff after school, but you you know what I mean. I want to have wanted to have fun, you know. Now it's like now I, I'm like I can't have you know any fun because I got to go to summer school, and yet and like I said, I could go to school. I, I mean I, I mean I have school off in July and all that, but still I'm just like it's just freaking annoying. Plus I could take I I could taking trips if I wanted to trips to like places. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, 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 clearly, um, clearly, though, you know, um, I had some problems with, with, um, with this school year and all that. I had some problems, but mostly just either the, it was because of the ice storm or, um, because my parents were being control freaks and all that, but, but I'm going to go ahead and say this, this is, 
this school is uh, good and uh, 74 points. Yes. This, this, this sub um, grade bar barely, it barely escapes, it barely escapes the, um, it, it barely escapes the good. I still have a lot of good memories with the school. I still do. But I do have a lot of good memories with it. But boy, but boy, um, I, I, I really hate how I, how many times I got in trouble and all that. Because of this stuff and all that. And to be fair, I don't remember a whole, whole lot about this school. Because, I mean, it was a long time ago, but I do remember a lot of things. I even remember, like, going to the cafeteria and constantly asking if they had vanilla milk or something. Because, because I had it in Special Learning Center and all that. But, but, um, but yeah, basically, though, it's kind of, um, it's just, it's kind of, you know, um, uh, it's just kind of a, you know, like, again, it's kind of one of those things that, where I feel like it could have been better, but it also could have been worse, you know? I still had lots of fun in it, I just, I just didn't, I just don't think it was, like, as great, I still think I had problems with it, but, and actually, I've not recorded this school yet, I've not recorded this one yet. I haven't recorded it. Or the um JC well the JC High School I recorded too, I recorded it but I never finished recording it but um that's gonna be a, a few months from now so maybe by then I'll get it because I'm trying to work on getting a tour to it so I can finish it. I I'm, I don't know if I'll probably I don't know if I'll probably mention it, I'll record it because I know people get very salty about recording stuff which is kind of stupid but. I mean, I guess with schools, there are kids and all that in school, but I can also I can also avoid avoid it very easily. That's actually what I did when I recorded the school before. I just avoided all of it. But um, but yeah, I don't know. But um, but yeah, these are like the well, I I, I kind of want to get the the school across the street too, which is part of the special learning center district, but. That one, I don't know, that one's going to be a little bit hard to get. But I'm going to work on that. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm probably going to go ahead and let things go from here, though. I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.